Hello. For this video, I figured I would make a Father's Day um, reward rosette ribbon. So I found a little little dump uh, pickup truck. So, and I've got two pieces of red um, decorative paper, which I want to score and make a little rosette out of. Alrighty, so, and I'm going to do this at every, guess, every half an inch. Yeah, let's do every half an inch. Why not? Depends on how tall you want it to be. If you want it to be shorter, you want to do quarter of an inch. If you want it to be nice and tall, then you want half an inch. Because that will definitely make a difference for you. All right. And then we'll do the other one. And you need about 12 inches to make a decent rosette, I have found. So, and I think these are both six inch strips, so they're definitely long enough. Okay. There. Okay. Oh, and I know what I forgot to grab is my circles that I have punched already. But that's okay. I've got white right here. I could use those. That's not very thick, though. I want it thicker. Oh, here. Right there, that'll work. All right. One inch circle. Oh, on my desk already, silly me. Okay, so I like using this cardboard. I put this packaging. I need one for the top and one for the bottom. All righty. That should fit. Yep, yeah, okay, good. Okay, so all you gotta do to make this is this. You just gotta fold this mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain valley until you're all done. And then just kinda force it to go even and then squish it down. Okay, then this one we're gonna do valley, mountain, valley, mountain, valley, mountain. It's funny, this one's going even more crooked, but that's okay. Alrighty, so you've got one going. Mountain Valley, Mountain Valley. Oh, okay, I guess they're both going the same same distance. That's okay. Alright, the main thing we want is we want a valley matching up with a mountain. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put glue in here. And glue this together. Kind of squeeze that together to make sure that's connected. Alrighty, I think we're going to need some clips too. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around this way and we're going to connect this valley with this mountain. So we're going to take this valley. Actually, I'm going to trim that down because there's a little bit of excess on there. All right. Put a little glue on the inside of that valley, just on one side, and then put this together. And then squeeze those together. All righty. And hold that for a moment. Okay. So now... What we're going to do is we're going to take some, we're going to take this and I'm going to do some double stick glue and, I mean double stick tape and some glue. I'm going to use both because I don't feel like I'm being lazy. I don't feel like getting out my glue gun because it's all the way in the other room. All righty. Oh, I might as well go ahead and do this one too. There. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and remove this tape. Want that release paper off of there. Okay. 
Okay, so then we're going to leave that there, and I'm going to go ahead and squirt some glue on there, too, because we want double power. Yep, all righty. Double power it will be, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn this in on itself, like so. Come on. <laughs> Turn in. There you go. Okay. And then we're going to pick it up and we're going to move it over here. So where did it go? I'm going to put it right in the middle of this square so I can see where I'm putting this. Don't you flip on me. Okay. Stay. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm going to put that all in there and hold that down for a couple of minutes. All righty. This is going to be so pretty. I guess I can glue this on here while I'm waiting. Let's see if I can do this at the same time. <laughs> Two things at once. Ooh, I am impressed. I can do that. Wowza. Oh my heck, I even glued it on there. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Okay, so, and I don't think, I think I might need a clothespin to hold the top and the bottom together. So let's do that. All right, so I'm wondering if this is going to stay or if, will it pop out? It might pop out. Okay, so where's my weight? I'm going to lay this on top of it, and hopefully that is heavy enough to hold it down. Hold it down. Okay. All right, and in the meantime, I'm going to take this off because we need to get this release paper off. Okay, put a little bit of glue on there. All righty, and then we're going to take this off and we're going to put this on the top. There, and it doesn't matter that this is this that that's showing because it's um going to be covered up anyways. It's going to be covered up with this, so that's looking pretty good. Yep, 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 yep. I love red and black and white together. I just think that's so sharp together. Okay, and while we're waiting for that, then I think I'm going to go ahead and. Let's put this on top to hold that down still. And then we'll get some glue on this. And pull that off and we can put this over the top of that. Press that down. That is so adorable for Father's Day. Oh my goodness, I like that. Okay. So we're going to leave that sit there. So now what, what I want to do is I want to make um, two banner flags to go down. So I'm wondering what size. I think this might be. How will that look? Let's look at the reality of that. Because I'm picturing this. Yes, that'll work. All righty. So let's go ahead and fishtail this. Nice. And this edge is kind of raw, so I want to trim that off. Okay, this edge is kind of raw. Oh, this whole bottom is. Okay. So if we do it this way, that'll be hidden in the top. Okay. So let's do this one too. little bits and pieces away and then I'm going to take the double stick tape and put some tape across here put some tape across here because one of them needs to be stuck to the other And then 
this one will stick to the underneath of our rosette that we've created. Alrighty. Whoop, that slid over. Get back on there. Alrighty, but it's glued. That's good. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and stick some glue under here too. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and line this up on there like so. That is cute. I like that. <laughs> Alexa off. What do you think of that? Isn't that cute? That's perfect for Father's Day. So that can go on a card or we can go ahead and glue. We could stick a paper clip on the back and stick it to his pocket or glue a pin on the back. So that's so fun. When my grandchildren were little, then they would have probably loved to have a, a string hanging on to make it into a necklace for Papa. <laughs> that's cute. Alrighty, so there you go. That's how you make a Father's Day rosette award banner. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this, this neat little rosette to make for Father's Day. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.